Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be 10 things I wish I knew before I got a French Bulldog. Um, I, as some of you may know, I'm a fur mama, which is sort of a trend with people around my age. They get dogs before they're ready to have kids, which is what me and my boyfriend have done. Um, we have a our French Bulldog, who was really just mine before we moved in together, but um, I got her since I've been dating him. Um, and then we just recently in November got a Great Dane puppy. So we have two dogs and um, I'll show um, our Frenchie in a little bit. But um, so we got our French Bulldog in July of 2017. Um, her name is Opal and she's, she's a sweetheart but there's a lot of things that I wasn't expecting when I got my French Bulldog. Before we get started, I just want to say some of these things are things that you may be able to find when you look them up. Basically, my point of saying some of these things is because I want to just say that they're true. Or things that um, I feel should be more emphasized by people who share characteristics of French Bulldogs. So here we go! Number one, they're stinky. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough, um, French Bulldogs fart, and they fart a lot, and it smells like something crawled up inside of them and died. I'm not even kidding. And a lot of dogs that fart, you don't hear them, well, at least for Opal, you can hear it, and it is like a human fart, and it's kind of disgusting, and I feel bad for everyone who ever comes around us, because she's stinky. <laughs> Number two. They have breathing problems. So as you probably know if you've been researching French Bulldogs, they have a that squish face um, which can lead to breathing problems. Um, basically all I've noticed so far, Opal's not even two yet, so I think there's a long ways to go still, but the only thing I've noticed with Opal so far is she does what's called reverse sneezing, which is like, you know, when you sneeze, you ex it's like an exhale, but reverse sneezing in those kinds of dogs is like... It almost seems as if they're trying to catch a breath, but they're just breathing in over and over again, and it's really, really weird, and it's a snorty sound, and it used to concern me a lot, but I found out that it's normal, and I just think that people should know. They reverse sneeze, and it's completely normal, as long as they're not doing it too often, or a lot, or in a, or a long amount of time. Number three. Now I'm sure if you're already looking into getting a French Bulldog, you know that they are expensive. And by expensive, I don't mean $500 to $800. They are anywhere from like $1,500 to three grand. So they're very, very expensive. Um, and there's a reason why. I don't want people to just think like, oh my gosh, these dogs are such pretty dogs that they're so expensive. Because that's not the case. The case is that, um, French Bulldogs are unique in the fact that they cannot um, reproduce naturally. They have to be artificially inseminated. So I thought that was interesting, but in addition to that, um, the moms of those babies, their hips are not wide enough, so they can't give birth naturally either. They have to have a C-section. So you think about how much vet bills are going to add up when it comes to that, um, that litter. That's why they're so expensive. That's the only way that the breeders would even be able to make money on those puppies. Number four. I could not believe this next one because, well, we'll get to another part, but we'll get to the other one at the end. But they're fast, okay? Like, Opal, when she gets to what we call boosting, which is when puppies get excited and they run all around, she is very fast. There have been times when I've been trying to catch her and I cannot catch her. And I've had to have like two or three people help me catch her because she is so fast. Because I think it's because they're so little too, like they're just, they're not easy targets to catch and they're so fast. So I think people should really recognize that they're really fast. Um, when they are thinking about their dog choice. If you're ready to keep up with having to chase around this really fast dog, um, it's also concerning for me because I'm always afraid that if she were to get out or something, that she would just take off and there'd be no way for me to catch her. So that, that's a big fear of mine um, and something I wish I had known. <laughs> Number five. They are messy. <laughs> they are so messy. Um, 
when she eats, shits all over her chin. When she gets a drink of water, the water goes everywhere, it's slobbery, it's gross, okay? Like, it's not pretty. Um, um, I often wipe off my dog's chins because they get so gross after they eat because I just think it's gross and I, that was something that, I mean, I probably expected, I think, but um, I just, I didn't realize I'd have to be cleaning up after her face, like, all the time. Um, and in addition to that, I think it also has to do with, because of their short, short snout, that they have to, you know, get their face all the way in there and it results in some nasty situations sometimes. Number six, they are people lovers. Now, that sounds like a great thing, right? You want your dog to love people. And that's true. I'm glad that my dog likes people a lot because there's some dogs I know that are, that bark at every person that they don't know and all of that kind of stuff. But at the same time, um, Frenchies, at least the Frenchies I know and the fr people I've talked to, to that have had Frenchies, they love people to the point of they have to have their attention. I've had times um, where Opal would just, I'd have company over and she would just stand on them because she'd be waiting for them to give her more attention. And she was never done and she, um, she can jump as high as a doorknob with her little body and um, and she'll jump up at people. Um, yeah, so they love people to the the point that they have to have their attention and it's, it's up to them. <laughs> Number seven, they make some weird noises. <laughs> um, I can't even explain to you half the noises that I have heard come out of that little dog's mouth. She snores and she snorts definitely but she also makes weird noises to the point of like how is that dog making that noise she sounds like a little kid that's like whining like it's it's weird um so be prepared to that if you're gonna get a french bulldog because they make some weird noises <laughs> number eight they're strong and i know that just sounds like simple and like what they're strong i take her on walks and she um like the leash like makes marks on my hand afterwards um, and she like I've had people try to do the thing where you keep her like right by you we had a friend try to do that and and even he struggled to keep her just next to him and this but he kept her to his side the whole time and by the time he was done she threw up like that's how strong and how hard she works like when she's trying to do that so um, I think that's really important to know. Going wa on walks with them is not always a breeze. So and I think I think you could get them to calm down some once they get used to it. But with her, she's just so excited every time she goes that I don't ever want to take her. So she tends to stay in the yard to get her exercise. Number nine, they're hard-headed. I mean this both figuratively and literally. First, I'll talk about figuratively. Obviously, that means that she's stubborn. She is extremely stubborn. I, however, don't think that um, there were. She was very hard to train. She was really smart, and she wanted to do anything for treats, um, which is how we taught her. We taught her how to sit, lay down, and shake all within like the first week we had her. Um, potty training was a little harder, but um, but. They're stubborn, and she gets in a mindset of, this is what I want to do, and I'm doing it. Like, that that's her mindset. Now, literally, she has a hard head. Like, I talked about before how she can jump as high as a doorknob. Well, one time my mom bent down to pet her. She jumped up, and my mom, like, busted her lip, like, because it hurt. Like, it, her head is so hard, um, and she she's very hard-headed. She... Bonking heads with her is no fun experience. <laughs> and lastly, number 10. They are lazy. Yes, they are lazy. I will completely agree that they can be lazy. She will lay down, she will cuddle, she will sleep. But she also has just as many moments that she is lazy that she is extremely hyper. She still boosts like a puppy, and she's almost two, and she boosts go runs around like crazy more than our Great Dane puppy does. So she has a lot of energy. I definitely think she'll grow out of it and become more lazy than hyper at some point, but at this moment, 
where she is, she's going to turn two in April, so that's only a couple months away, um, she still has a lot of energy. So I just want to put that out there that they are full of energy and they are a handful. And um, I definitely want to just express that to people who are considering, like she's about to play right now with Harley. I just want to express that to people because I think it's some important things to consider before getting one. Um, I love my Frenchie. I don't regret getting her for the world. She's my best friend. Um, not saying that our Great Dane isn't, but Opal, Opal's my baby. She was my dream dog. Um, and my life wouldn't be the same without my OB, so um, I guess I'll go ahead and introduce her. Opal, come here. Opal, come here. Opal. Alright everyone, so here's my Frenchie Opal. She's the sweetest little girl. Say hi, Opie. Okay, I don't want to blind her. Alright everyone, so that is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped if you were considering getting a French Bulldog. Um, I do want to stress that I love my French Bulldog no matter how many flaws she has. Um, and anyways, thank you for watching and see you next time.